Okay, so in this video we're going to be finding the HCF and LCM of two numbers uh, using Venn diagrams. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list a couple of questions at the top. Um, if you go on our previous video, it shows you how to do it with one example. What I'd like you then to do is look at these questions here, um, pause the video, give it a go, and I'm going to run through each one um, and then see if you get the same as what I've got. Okay, okay so give these a go um, and then resume the video when you're done to check. Right, so starting off with number one, got to write eight here and 18. First thing we need to do is the factor tree. So I'm going to go with two and four, two and two. Okay, so that's that done. So you have eight, two times two times two. Now you don't have to simplify, but just do so out of habit. So two to the three, and then we're done because there are three lots of twos there. If we go on to 18, we've got 2 and 9, and then we have 3 and 3. So we've got 18 here, 2 times 3 times 3, which is 2 times 3 squared. Okay, so now we need our Venn diagram. So there's the two circles. Probably going to run out of space. So on the left hand side, what I've got is 8. On the right hand side, I've got number 18. So what I'm going to do is put the two numbers, uh, all of the factors in the left side and all of the factors on the right side. So I've got 2, 2, and 2. And then I have 2, 3, and 3. What I then need to do is cross out each pair. So I've got a 2 here with the 2 there, or a 2 in the middle. I then have no other 2s, and I don't have any 3s on the left to cross out with the 2 on the right, so I stop. So the HCF here is all of the numbers in the center times each other. So in this case, I've only got the number 2, so the HCF is literally 2. Okay, And for the LCM, multiply all of the numbers you see. So 2 times 2 from the left, you include the center one, and then the 2 on the right, which is the 3 times 3. Um, so LCM, and you can do this two step by step, or you can do it slightly quicker. So 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2 to give us 8. So I've done all of the 2s, and then come write 3 times 3. We can then do 8 times 9, and then finally we have an LCM of 72, 8 times 9. So hopefully you got that. If you didn't, just go through and check uh, the prime factor tree first. Make sure you've circled prime numbers and not just any number. Then once you've done that, check the Venn diagram. Make sure you've... Uh, written exactly three twos for eight and one two and two threes for 18. Then check you've crossed out only one set of two, one pair of two, okay? Um, and then just, if that's all okay, just check your multiplication for the last step. But you should have got a HCF of two and an LCM of 72. Okay, for the next one, what I wanna do here is Let's rub this out here. Change that from 18. Get rid of this as well. What was it be? Keep confusing. Okay. So 15 and 45. So factor tree, 2 times something cannot give you 15. So we have to go with 3 and 5. Both are prime. So 15 is. 3 times 5. Again, make sure you check this. You should get the answer. Um, the answer you should get is the question that you started with. So 3 times 5 is 15, and we do indeed get 15. Uh, then I've got 45. So what I'm going to do is 5 times 9. 5 is prime. 9 is not. So we do 3 and 3. Okay. We then write 45. 3 times 3 
times 5. Again, you can simplify this. I'm just going to write it here. 3 squared times 5. Okay. Now, once I've got these two, I'm then going to insert that into the Venn diagram. So this is 15. This is 45. I've then got 3 and 5. I then have 3, 3, 5. I then begin the process of eliminating each pair, if possible. So 3 with the 3, right in the center. Okay. Please do not start striking out everything okay, in one go. Strike out a pair, right in the center. Strike out a pair, right in the center. That way when you get to slightly higher numbers, if you follow that same principle, you won't confuse yourself. Okay. Now, the LCM. Sorry, let's do the HCF first, like we've been doing. The HCF is the center numbers times by each other. So, 3 times 5. Now, I would encourage you to write this out, okay? Don't just write HCF 15. Actually, write out 3 times 5, just in case you mess something up. And then write HCF. 15. I'll always show you're working. Don't jump steps. Okay, it's a good habit to get into showing every step of the way. But OCM, you then write all of the numbers. So 3 times 5 times 3. So your LCM is 15 times 3, which gives you an LCM of 45. Okay, so you should have also got 45 as your LCM for 15 and 45 okay now just before we go on to question three if you have a look at this remember lowest common multiple all multiples are is essentially the times tables of the number so if i have 15 here and 45 lcm is the lowest number the lowest common multiple so the lowest number that both numbers um, will have so if i write 15 30 45 and so on okay so it's the timetables of 15 and then 45 so 45 90 and so on the question is saying what is the lowest number that both of these numbers have in common okay so the lowest multiple okay and the lowest one you can see is not 15 it's not this one here because there is no 15 in the 45 times table the lowest number is this 45 here that matches with this one here. Hence, why you get the LCM here of 45. Okay, and the same goes for the um, highest common factor. So it's the highest number that goes into 15 and 45. Now, obviously, it can't be any higher than the lowest number. So the HCF couldn't be 30 because 30 wouldn't go into 15. Okay, so the HCF being 15. So 15 goes into 15 once, and then 15 will go into 45 three times. Okay, so that's the highest number that goes into both of them, not just one, both. Right, and let's go on to the third question. Uh, rub this out here. Right, 27 and 36. So I'm going to go with 3 and 9. 3 is prime, 9 is not. 3 times 3 to give us 9. So 27, 3 times 3 times 3. And again, you can write 3 cubed. Okay. So that's your answer here. Now for 36, let's go with 2 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 3. So 36 is 2, oh, I forgot to circle these, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Again, you can simplify 2 squared times 3 squared. And I'll just highlight the simplified version for our answer. But what we need to use for the Venn diagram is the first step. Okay, so this one and this one here. So 
this is 27, the left side, the right side is 36. List all of the numbers, okay? So we've got 3, 3, and 3. Then we have 2, 2, 3, and 3. If I then look at crossing each pair, again, take your time. So this 3 with this 3, right in the center. This 3 with this 3, right in the center. Can I cross that any more? No. So I stop. Okay. I then go and write here. You hate CF as all of the numbers in the center multiply by each other. So in this case, I've got 3 times 3 which gives us a HCF of 9 okay and then I have the LCM which is every number that is not crossed out times by each other so 3 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 okay so 3 times 3 times 3 will give us 27 and then 27 times 4 108 so you should have got your HCF as um, 9 and your LCM of 108.